Welcome back, F1 fans. Here are some of the top stories from the world of Formula One this week. Ferrari and Charles Leclerc started the week at the top, ending it with a commanding victory in the Principality. Leclerc, the hometown hero, took his first ever Monaco win in dominant fashion. He led from the front, having looked impressive in all sessions from Friday and securing pole position. Leclerc's teammate also had an impressive showing, finishing third and successfully fending off late challenges from McLaren's Lando Norris. The strategic planning from Ferrari, including Leclerc's tactic of backing up the pack to prevent Norris from pitting, was crucial to their success. However, this approach drew criticism from rivals, including Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen, who described the race as boring and a snooze-fest. Despite the criticisms, Ferrari's execution was flawless, capitalising on Red Bull's struggles. The Scuderia's resurgence has been a significant talking point this season, consistently challenging the top spots and proving their mettle. Meanwhile, Red Bull faced unexpected hurdles. Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez grappled with issues and a lack of pace. Despite their strong performance history, Monaco's unique demands exposed vulnerabilities in the RB20. This struggle highlights the competitive nature of the 2024 season where even the reigning champions can't afford to rest on their laurels. Ferrari's success at Monaco has reignited their championship ambitions, making the battle for the title more thrilling than ever. Do you think Ferrari can maintain their momentum and challenge for the championship this season? Helmut Marco has raised alarms about a fundamental issue at Red Bull, stating that the correlation between their simulator and track performance does not work. This revelation comes amidst growing competition from Ferrari and McLaren, who have already clinched victories this season. Red Bull's dominance is under threat, with their rivals exploiting weaknesses that were previously masked by the team's formidable performances. Max Verstappen's recent comments echo Marco's concerns. I don't know if that will be solved this year, hopefully towards next year, Verstappen remarked, indicating the severity of the issue. The discrepancy between simulator and real-world performance is a significant challenge, as accurate simulations are crucial for race preparations. Marco highlighted this by saying, On the simulator, we drive over the curbs without any problems, and here, the car jumps like a kangaroo. This misalignment could have substantial implications for Red Bull's strategy and performance moving forward. How do you think Red Bull will address their simulator issues to stay competitive? Speculation is rife about driver movements, with whispers in Monaco suggesting Carlos Sainz is in talks with Williams. With Red Bull and Mercedes focusing on other options, Sainz's choices are narrowing. Williams, despite their current pace struggles, offers potential for rapid improvement and a flexible contract that could allow Sainz to become a free agent by 2026. This flexibility could be attractive compared to a long-term commitment with Audi. Meanwhile, VCARB CEO Peter Bayer is eager to retain Yuki Tsunoda and Daniel Ricciardo, which could spell trouble for Liam Lawson's F1 aspirations. Helmut Marko confirmed a clause in Lawson's contract that allows him to leave the Red Bull family if not offered an F1 seat, adding another layer of complexity to the driver market. Where do you think Carlos Sainz will end up for the 2026 season? Ferrari's team principal Fred Vasseur has shed light on the decision to sign Lewis Hamilton over retaining Carlos Sainz. Vasseur praised Sainz's contributions, particularly his role in Ferrari's recovery post-summer break and his victory in Singapore. However, the opportunity to bring in Hamilton with his vast experience and record was too significant to pass up. For the team, being able to bring Lewis on board was a no-brainer, Vasseur explained. Hamilton's tenure at Mercedes is turning into a bitter end, with the seven-time champion hinting at internal favouritism affecting his qualifying performance against his teammate who has outqualified him so far 7-1. Hamilton said, I expect it now. Every time I come into qualifying, I already know I'm going to lose a couple of tenths. I don't anticipate being ahead of George in qualifying this year. Despite these struggles, Hamilton's move to Ferrari is seen as a fresh start. Meanwhile, Sainz's future remains uncertain with Williams and Audi as potential destinations. The evolving driver market continues to be a focal point as teams and drivers manoeuvre for the best possible positions ahead of the 2026 regulations. Was Ferrari right to prioritise signing Lewis Hamilton over retaining Carlos Sainz? That wraps up this week's F1 News Update. We've covered a lot of ground from Ferrari's resurgence in Monaco to the shifting dynamics in the driver market. 
We want to hear from you. What do you think about the latest developments? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all things motorsport.